Okay, welcome to Fanime 2019! <laughs> May 24, 2019. The Fanime 25th anniversary. Silly Kelly. And I have uh, I have a uh, yeah, Teddy in here. <laughs> so here we are. Let's get tickets. Without forget. All right, so we are in the convention hall. There was some audio playing, and this is Silly Kelly, and this is Teddy Backspin, and uh, <laughs> we're at the event anyway. Uh, I was talking about there not being a line con, the, the, uh, the no line con. I uh, went right in. Um, that that there, there was a thing called line con for many years, up until about 2014. I uh, did something different. Um, uh, I did uh, Bacon and Fanime, 2013, 2014, 2015. Last Bacon was 2015. So, in the game room, we have um, some Fanime since then. This is uh, four years later. Uh, yeah, so, yeah, we've been doing them. Um, yeah, the stories who in invited us originally to Fanime uh, haven't gone since they did that. Uh, and they're not here this time, even though later on there's Ghostbuster people. Uh, here we are in the game room. There are so many competing sounds in there that that you wouldn't be able to understand anything anyway. Um, but YouTube is dickish, so they might like flag for like Capcom music or something. Uh, yeah, so... <laughs> hmm. Well... So it's like we're going to Iliop and uh, the planet of the Teddy Ruxpin people. And uh, and then we've gone to Earth. Yeah, it didn't really, that didn't really pan out, actually. Uh, we can certainly do something like that, but uh, it didn't really pan out. So um, it ended up just being convention coverage. Uh, I, I can certainly make two movies out of this. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I can make two movies out of this. But yes, uh, I actually am. <laughs> here we are, and um... Go over here and there's like nothing, no sound back here. Yeah, because there's nothing going on. Taco Mama, after that, uh, that was lunch. Uh, I'm gonna go to the Bunny Senpai movie. But first, I wanna check out what's in uh, the hotel. Yeah. Well, your edification, that duffel bag was not an airship. <laughs> <laughs> There's nothing going on up here right now. Okay, nothing at all. Let's go watch that bunny senpai thing. Ah, I'll just sleep here. Yeah. And now I shall use my magical powers to make this duffel bag float. It really won't be, but yeah. Uh oh. <laughs> 
Got this here Teddy Ruxpin. He's floating along this here. Oh, I just broke the fourth wall. <laughs> yeah, there's nothing going on in up here. I'm gonna go see the bunny simpop. So yeah. There's two of us here. Tomorrow, Buzzy Face be dressed up like sort of like a cat bear dude. Yeah, so that'll be funny. So let's uh down here. Yep. <laughs> the police are gonna come up here. Dude, what is that? Stop them. Come on. <laughs> Roughly where the Spider Man kid. Yeah. Uh yeah, so at the convention, we have, um, yeah, outside at the at the con, various characters and a gargoyle type of thing, and yeah, uh, it's um, it's definitely in, in interesting, but but less. Uh, uh, it was uh, there was less uh, people emphasizing the yeah the other less people emphasizing the the, the inter swap thing um, yeah there there weren't as many people uh, being being in drag actually not hardly at all here's Teddy Rackspin trying to get him to walk As you can see it didn't work. Because, yeah, it really, really, really didn't work. And I, I just showed it with the hand in the background so you could see why it really, really, really didn't work. So you can see, uh, that did not work. So, um, <laughs> yeah. This is the Kelly, Silly Kelly voice is similar to the voice of the teddy bear anyway. Isn't where he got it originally, the voice, the Kelly, Kelly Lux voice. Uh, somebody thought that he was the guy. I think that was on day two. But in this one, now uh, we have some Pokemon characters. And uh, there's the Wario guy who shows up later, so he's everywhere. And I didn't mean for that to look like a, 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 uh, sort of a habit. It's not. Um, it, it's not. Uh, there's a furry. So, yes. Excellent. So yeah, uh, it's just a jacket. It was supposed to be the kid who would be king. Anyway, so it didn't. But he's got like a teddy bear. He's not really dead. He just looks kind of dead. <laughs> <laughs> but he's dead. This is definitely. You know what? I don't think we're on Iliop anymore. Ooh, I kind of flubbed that line. Does not dream of bunny girl senpai. Okay, yeah. Uh, this is me discussing um, the wrong voice, incidentally. And there was who's in the background. Uh, the, the, yeah, a rascal doesn't dream of bunny senpai, which is senpai means teacher, actually, not girl. Uh, it's like sensei, but like older like teacher, but not quite sensei. It's senpai. Um, uh, and the joke was that she was a teacher supposedly but she looked like him so it didn't really it's like a, a strange little movie uh, about a guy who befriends a girl who was disappearing which is kind of like a reverse Cillian in that in that her the illusions of the town sort of make somebody that's famous and that's no longer famous disappear whereas the Calcat and the Cillians and the, the various those characters in that story are the opposite of that in that they make themselves appear so uh yeah it's, it's this is a very anime idea 
and yeah, I'm pretty much going over this this odd story about this. And and, and it's funny how the Japanese story was a. Uh, it does have a lot of suggestive stuff and material in it. So yeah. But uh, yeah, and then and then they and then they get freaked out when they get called out on uh, suggestive material. Yeah. Anyway, so now we're now we're out the uh, various characters, the convention. Uh, it looks like back in the game room, possibly. Or is it the dealer's room? Yes, yeah, it's the dealer's room. No, no, maybe it was the dealer's room. Uh, yeah, so there is a Macross person. Yeah, I think it's a Macross person. Macross Delta, newer one. It's actually kind of cool. Um, yeah, and I, and I got to see that too, but that was later. Uh, yeah, I'm giving away stuff that happened later. Hmm, yeah. Well, it's like the other stuff that was going on wasn't uh, conducive of uh, Captain Marvel and Captain America. And there is Teddy Ruxpin looking kind of horrified or possibly, like, scared. Uh, well, actually, ah, uh, uh, I saw others of my kind. I was excited. There, there's a, a kitty key. Well, not really. Um, yeah, it's a gunsmith cat, I think. Uh, or a, a gunmetal cat, or one of those other ones. It's not gunsmith cats. It's not. Um, yeah, cat girl. But that was something later, too. It was the, uh, protesters. Anyway, so we have, uh... We have sort of a walkthrough, various characters. Yeah, I don't know a lot of the animation characters that they're doing. Sure, uh, um, yeah, and don't know what they're trying to be. I don't know this character, but it's interesting looking. So, here we have Game of Thrones, possibly. Yeah. Eh. Now, some people might come, so now, some people are talking about costuming. Oh, there's a furry. Excellent, my little pony furry. And, and he's Deadpool. <laughs> but yeah, the costuming shaming thing. It's like people criticizing their costuming technique. It's like, like why? Like, how, how would they know? I don't know. And they're like, it's like, that's like going to an art gallery and saying, oh, this, this, you know, this artwork is not exactly what I would do. It's like, yeah, what kind of, what kind of a weird criticism is that? It's like, yeah, but you can't do better. I mean, the response. <laughs> oh, yeah. I can do better, but I won't. It's, and the kid who would be king thing that I was wearing from that movie that no one saw. Uh, somebody did get it. <laughs> They're like, oh, it's a kid king, or king Arthur movie, right? So, yeah, there was at least one person in there that got it. <laughs> the jacket looked very similar. Oh, there's another one. There's another fur. Maybe the stories were there the whole time in fur costumes. That'd be awesome. I don't think so, but that'd still be awesome. And those things are really warm, too, when those happen. <sighs> and now that is a green Deadpool in a, in a Mexican outfit. Which is, is funny. Um, there's, there's a couple of Deadpools. And it is true that they do, in fact, reproduce at conventions. Other nerds uh, uh, they, they, each other. There's the Mario and War uh, another Mario and Mario. It's a different different guys, Mario and Luigi. And uh, they, they, yeah, they sort of opposite the part there. Somebody might complain and say, "Oh, he's not big enough to be Luigi." Is like so. <laughs> <laughs> It was like like this uh, Game of Thrones. And a, uh, there's a gunsmith cat there. Uh, this was the carrot juice. This was unusual. Um, so so here we had carrot juice and cake and this weird cake. That yeah, don't get carrot juice at uh, Boulangerie, a la Boulange. Uh, uh, <laughs> don't do that in the future. Um, <laughs> Oh no! So yeah, uh, there's that uh, migrant worker's hat. 
um, the Bichon Bakery Cafe. Uh, it's not sponsored by anything. Oh, San Jose State got a... I take a picture in front of it. Because I went there. <laughs> yeah. And then I discussed it. Yeah. Yeah, so apparently the, the Spartans did actually win a football game. Remarkable. Uh, that's where I went to college. Twins. Uh, class of 98 and class of 2008. Uh, had nothing to do with the football team. They apparently won. This year. Mm. Well, they won more than a game. They won the championship. Anyway, um, uh, yeah, so, and I don't have a shirt from that. Probably should get one. <laughs> Probably can't find one at this point. Um, yeah, we're out back at the convention. Um, it's just sort of an odd camera angle there. I just don't think I knew what I was doing. Um, yeah, there's, there's no sharking or anything. <laughs> I just didn't know what I was doing. Uh, maybe they're building the ground. There's some interesting weird stuff, but yeah. Oh, I was a Tycho drum guy. I cut out the audio for this because what if he's that good that it, that, you know, and, and it flags me because it probably will. Um, so I, I clipped it out. Um, yeah, so I didn't want YouTube to flag me. Somebody else has probably recorded it, so it's, yeah, go there, watch theirs. Um, let's see. And, yeah, more of the con. Back, no sound, so I recorded this part. Let's hear some of it. night yeah so so the trick of the I think it's Game of Thrones again or it's a uh, Fortnite. it's a Fortnite. that's right that's what he said it was. uh uh yeah so uh mm, but yeah um let's see uh here we have dealer's room and no music falling around dealer's room I didn't want to just film shots of people's backs and stuff, but uh, kind of cutting in here on occasion. Okay, so yeah, we're we're still uh, in the dealer's room, and I went back to I went back because there was music, um, and yeah, there's uh, the percentage of men to women was at least sixty percent women. Uh, less uh, men proving that they do in fact have girls that are totally nerds that come to conventions and dress up in anime and stuff. And, and, and there was a there was a panel where a guy was trying to impress a, a con person in the audience was trying to impress a girl by getting to briefly know enough anime to go to the anime convention with her. <laughs> and that doesn't work uh, yeah so there's that <laughs> Yeah, uh, if you don't know enough, you're, you, it's not going to work. So, yeah. And I don't know enough, so it hasn't worked. So, yeah. So, it wasn't me, but I'm just saying. Um, it's just, yeah, and that shouldn't be the barometer of it anyway. It should be rather whether you, whether somebody, whether you like the person and they like you or not. It shouldn't matter what you're into, necessarily, unless he's into some weird shit he didn't talk about. <laughs> but, yeah. Uh, some cool lithograph thingies. Looks like upside down. Yeah. Um, so we have, uh, some bloopers on here, but let's keep them in. Yes, bloopers are fine. Yeah, so, that, so, that, yeah, it was, it was very, uh, there's a Game of Thrones guy. It was very, um, yeah, the cat girl. It was kind of subdued, actually, the first day. There wasn't a lot of drama. The millennials, they're all mostly all millennials. Um, 
those those that were born after born after 1995 or roughly okay let's say 90 80, 80 90 um and up um yeah because you have your you know the whole generation gap thing you got that people born in the mid 40s to the mid 60s who are considered your baby boomers uh, those born in the mid 60s to the mid 80s which are considered the x generation my generation x generation born in the 1970 um did the, the uh the the millennials, born in 86 to 2006, and the post-millennials. Millennials are also known as the Why Me generation, or Y generation. Oh, um, yes. So, uh, so 2006 to, to uh, for another 20 years, uh, 2016. Uh, uh, 26, yeah, would be post-millennials. Yeah, roughly post-millennials. I think mainly these are probably, a lot of them are, our, our our Y generation, yeah. So, some of them might even be post millennials because it's already 2019. There could be a lot of them in there. Uh, they would have to have been born at some point after 2006. There's probably a lot of them there, yeah. in order for them to be post millennials. <laughs> mm. But they would be fairly young at that point. Yeah, because it's 2019, so they'd be like 13. Yeah, they'd be kids. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, um, so some fuzzy creatures. I bought some fuzzy toys. Incidentally, the store of the fuzzy toys that I bought them from on the th fourth day were uh, is actually out of business. So apparently, they're all online or something. There's that cat thing again. Oh, so yeah, there's. Uh, although the millennials seem to be annoyed about the Trump administration, so maybe they'll all vote for someone else. <laughs> but they'll probably be nonconformists and vote for no one else. That'll be the end of that. Um, but yeah, uh, so we have a lot of Pokemon people. I don't know what that is. Yeah, Pokemon. <laughs> that was invented by a guy with autism. But he's making millions, so he's clearly also a really business savvy guy. With <laughs> uh, so yeah. Unlike the Cal Cat show, also done by sorry, with autism, uh, which doesn't have any um, any uh, doesn't make any revenue off these videos, it, uh, really at all. Uh, I'd have to have more than eighty viewers. Uh, but I have a lot of people that viewed them. So they should uh, subscribe and like my channel so that I can have thousands of viewers and then I can be monetized. Because as you know, uh, YouTube messed with the algorithms and said, well, you have to have 10,000 subscribers, not just views, uh, before you can become like like officially official anyway. So do not have that many subscribers. Even the old martial arts school of the Junks one doesn't have that many subscribers. It has like a dozen. It's not enough. Maybe 50 at the most. And they're the same person over and over again. <laughs> so they may have ten, uh, about the same 10,000 views, but they don't have subscribers. They're, they're yeah, not getting any ad revenue from that. And it's weird that the music people would also flag you for no reason. Uh, just because, oh, there's a clip from a music playing in the background on someone's iPod. It's like, they shouldn't flag you for that. Certainly if you credit all the music in there, it'd be impossible. <laughs> How would you be able to know even what music you were recording? There's some interesting bloopers. I'm going to leave them in, though, because they add some interesting film-the-floor-first clarity to this thing. Um, Yeah. So, it uh, looked a bit like the Megan. I don't think it was, though. From the church group. But it wasn't. Um, nor did I see uh, the pagets. They weren't here. There. So we looked a little like them, but they weren't. And the lady with the fox tail wasn't there. And, and the lady with the permeates wasn't there, either. So there was, like, uh, yeah, a bunch of other... 
some swords. You always wonder how you get those on a train. I imagine you'd have to order them and then get your friend to take them off the premises in their car. That's what I guessed last year. Ugh, because you can't take that on a plane. Uh, there's, uh, yes, uh, off-world uh, shirts. Uh, not a sponsor. Uh, oh, we just bought a lot of shirts from them. They also do the con shirts. Uh, yeah. And there's a TV. The TV person was updated so that the screen actually had like moving parts. The Pocky, I'm going to mention the Pocky in a minute on here. It's not Pot. It, he's just being weird. Um, <laughs> okay. <laughs> so I'm now leaving the dealer's room for this here special edible packing. Go down and watch the movies. It's this special pack. Yep. I really want to get a beach For some reason, a cowpoke walked into the studio there. Here's a Clint cowpoke, and there's a furry and a girl. Maybe that's. No, that's not right. That'd be interesting. No, no, no. <laughs> yeah, maybe that's her. No. Although, Drew could be a furry. It could, it could be Drew. I don't know. Maybe she knows that. But here's a monster. Excellent. Good. Which one's the creature? I can't tell. Ha ha ha. No. Oh, no, it's kidding. Um. So I haven't eaten the Pocky yet. I didn't read the panels right. And I guess I'm going to go to the Artist Alley a little bit and then go to the 4 o'clock panel because I didn't really read the other ones right. It's half over. Um, so, uh, yeah, so that's what I'm going to do. And 44 seconds. All right, so, uh, well, this is uh, the longest one of the, uh, the con thingies. And Cowpoke was in there. And he was looking around about and all. And he had a cameo because he was there. So, uh, yeah, I never did eat the Pocky at the convention. I ate it later. It's kind of a useless thing. <laughs> I kept forgetting the snacks I was eating. At least on day one. Um, I kept running into that, that weird melty guy. So I took his picture. I got his permission, of course. That's a dude in that, incidentally. I th think it's a wuzzle, maybe? <laughs> it's something Dr. Susie in, I think. That's what that is. It looks like a wuzzle. interesting looking. It's probably not, but it kind of reminds me of one. Because if it's supposed to be the guy from the tree movie, that, that's Orin. Um, yeah, so here we have the art gallery. I don't know what's going on in there. And uh, there's a, is that a Winnie the Pooh? sort of a half Winnie the Pooh. Now there's somebody could critique the costume. They could say that's not really a fully on Winnie the Pooh. That's sort of a Christopher Robin disguised as Winnie the Pooh. <laughs> that's different. Like he's trying to go in incognito or something. Winnie the Pooh. Winnie the shit. Yep. Yeah. So here we have people in the con. We could probably do something with the footage and make a fun couple of funky movies out of this, but but just for this one, for the sake of what this one is, this is just the uh, slideshow part, like the narrated commentary of the convention. Uh, there's, there's a couple of days of that. 
I want to give you that and put that up and then make the movies afterward. Because really it's the only way to do it. Here we are. Yep. Back to the car. What is that? So anyway, here we are at the con, jumping to 30 minutes, 46 seconds. And, uh, and yeah, the, uh, the art gallery looking out on the windows. And uh, Teddy Ruxpin really hasn't appeared at all, just briefly. Kind of because the other stuff kind of overshadowed him. Was like, yeah, he was totally gonna appear, and he's like, he became a MacGuffin. <laughs> there That's he not is. Really talk. <laughs> That's not really gonna talk. Oh, this is. Uh, yes, I don't know. my eyes all screwed up, as you can tell. Ah, uh, this is gonna be the freakiest thing ever. Ah, uh, I hope Kelly knows where he's going in the crash. <laughs> That was probably not one. So there is one picture here where I was, where a little one of them's in there, 31 minutes or so, 31.52. Uh, somebody is leering there, but, but not because, I was trying to get the person behind them who wanted to be in the shot. Yeah. They just happened to photobomb it, so, well, they got in the shot too. Ah. <laughs> uh. So here we have, he's discussing the convention afterward, after the fact. Day one is ending, and that's the end of day one, and, and all the things. There was music playing, so I had to cut that out. Um, so, yeah. Um, and, uh, there we are. Well, this has been an interesting con experience. Here I am as a teddy bear. Ah. It could be worse. Ah. <laughs> no, it was okay. It's fine. Yeah. So yeah, more of the convention stuff and panels and and things. Doesn't seem to be up in the room at all. Okay, so it's about five. And that was in the Super Dimension Forker's Macross panel, of course. So I'm kind of a Macross Star Trek person. But also, I have a Teddy Rex spoon. Anyway, so, um, uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, they, they, uh, oh, there's my hand. So, yeah, um, they pretty much confirmed that the Japanese version of Robotech called Macross, uh, at the very end, afterward I asked them, they pretty much confirmed that, that at the end, Yes, the Japanese one does not mention Rick Hunter at all. It's Jupiter section. It's Jupiter expedition. It has nothing to do with Rick Hunter. So that cliffhanger at the end of Robotech with Rick Hunter not coming home did not happen. <laughs> Confirmed by the Robotech. Matt Cross. <laughs> yeah, that, 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 yeah so, you're, so my fan film is, well, the, uh, accurate for the American version, but definitely not the Japanese Matt Cross version, which I knew. Um, <laughs> So that was anime manga for parents. Uh, panel. It was five. Uh, concerning, I guess, uh, uh, whether anime, some anime is appropriate or not for children, basically. Uh, he didn't specify exactly what wasn't, so yeah, oh, there's that. Uh, I'm not familiar with a lot of the stuff he did mention, so. Maybe they would know immediately if they knew what he was talking about. The next is uh, expand cosplay is not for content. I'm going to go to that. Six is coming up right now. Um, I'm not filming in there, of course. Up. Oh, I'm, I'm not filming in there, of course. Yeah, because <laughs> uh, yeah, I was discuss I was mentioning that in the preview, so I go to it. I'm videoing myself. Oh, yeah, see? That's on me. Yeah. So uh, that was um, a panel of Beyond the Costume and Consent, uh, a sequel to the one five years ago. Uh, uh, 
two different people. There were two guys on the panel. Uh, one of the guys was from the other one. Uh, yeah, so it was quite different than the one a couple years ago. Uh, mainly they talked about photographers and fake photographers. But they didn't stop it. Oh well. <laughs> All right. That's the end of the slideshow. Uh, uh, this of day one slideshow. So I got on the Alum Rock train first, and, and it stopped at Civic Center, and they they like broke off the cars, and they were like gonna go broke off the cars, and then and then and then the train started acting funny because they were trying to like separate the cars, and then this this crazy guy gets on. And this other crazy guy gets like trapped outside of the train. The train doors are going, and finally he screams at the train. <laughs> he calls the train a bitch. <laughs> what? <laughs> they open the door to the train. <laughs> they wouldn't let him in. So I was like, I'm gonna get off this train and go on to the other train, the Alum Rock train, instead of the Mountain View one that I was on, where it was possessed and there were crazy people. And one of the crazy people got on the Alum Rock train with no crazy, but he got off. But there was a cop cars following the trains all the way down. I don't know what that was about. They didn't stop it. Oh well. <laughs> Basically.